Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial on how to use the dirty cloth tool. Uh, today I'm going to be going just how the basics work, literally just the basics. I'm not going to be diving deep into any of the features. If you want that, I'll probably be making another video later on on how all the features work. But this is just the basic to get a clothing pack ready and put on your server. So without further ado, let's get started. This is the website that you want to go to. I'll leave all the links down in the des description. Um, and uh, you can see uh, we'll go to the uh, pricing area just real quick um, I, for this tutorial just for the sake of it I'll be using the free version uh, personally I use the $10 or 10 euro version so um, if you want to purchase that you can just hit buy now it will direct you to a patreon it's super simple uh, but for the free version uh, you get five drawables per drawable type you get seven textures per drawable what that means is I made a nifty little uh, notepad here. Uh, a drawable is the shape or the model of the clothing. For example, if you're making Jordans, uh, so like a, a Jordan shoe is going to look different than a van shoe. So that's like the model. That's like what's going to look like um, the drawable type. Uh, the type is basically the shirt, the pants, the shoes, whatever it may be, um, all that fun stuff. And then the texture is like the color and the pattern, etc. I guess I misspelled that, etc. So just uh, if it's blue Jordans or if it's red Jordans, whatever it may be, uh, that's your textures is that. So you can only have seven textures per drawable type and then um, just five drawables. Uh, so there, that's what it is. So if we want to go ahead and get started, we click the latest download, which would bring us to uh, this page or a newer version of it. So it, you can see uh, this is the new release of uh, 2.5. Uh, you can scroll all the way down. You can see, I mean, you can go through all these features if you'd like. Uh, I'm not going to go through them with you again on this video, but you'll have to scroll all the way down and then you can click this download the zip file. Uh, so I'm going to go and click it just for the sake of doing the video properly. And then you go, I have it downloaded. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to open it up in Renoir. I'll make a new folder called um, just tool, just for the sake of it. I apparently already have a folder called tool. We'll call it tool cloth. There you go. And then uh, my folder opens on the other monitor. I'm going to go ahead and drag this into here. And there we go. Uh, we have this downloaded. Again, this is the free version. So um, if I open this up, I'm uh, just going to take a, a second to boot up, and there we go. Apparently, there's an update for just a, a quick little patch notes. I believe that, was, that happened yesterday. Uh, yours most likely won't have this. Uh, it's really uh, it's really up to what version you download. If you download this uh, the second day that I make this video, you'll probably have to do that. But there you go. You have the tool uh, up and running. Uh, additionally, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close these tabs, uh, this tab as well. Um, additionally, here is uh, different names of uh, the clothing that you might go ahead and download. So you might go ahead and download something that has head at the end of it, or beard, or hair, uh, lower. Uh, JBib is probably going to be the most uh, common one that you're going to download, and then uh, accessories, all that stuff. You can see here uh, what they are named uh, or what they are for. So for example, the JBibs are basically the tops, the shirts that you're going to be downloading. Uh, your decals, um, a little bit more complicated, it's fine. And then your feet, obviously your shoes, uh, hand, could be handbags, parachutes, whatever it may be. Anyways, you can see all of this. I'll put this as well into the description of this video. So if you want to go, it's very kind of like helpful to get you off your feet. Kind of a cool little page uh, if you'd like. But for uh, the stuff that we're going to be downloading today, uh, I did two male and uh, two female. Uh, not for any particular reasons. I don't know if these mods work or whatnot. I haven't never downloaded these mods, but we'll see if they uh, work well. So I'm going to go ahead and download them real quick. We're going to go ahead and download this, uh, download that, download this, and also download that. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and drag, drag all of these onto my desktop. I mean, you can be doing any type of clothing you want. If you want these types of clothing, I'll go ahead and link them down in the description as well. Um, I don't know who made them. I literally just clicked on anything on the 5M forums. So, um, if you like them, tell them you like them, not me. Um, so anyways, we have all of this started. So we have our cloth tool here and we have our files that are going to be adding in. So let's get started with that. 
Uh, so this is what your files will look like. So we're going to click on files, uh, 5M. So this is what we're going to be looking for. So we'll have here, like I said earlier, this is your drawable. And the type is here, the JBIB. Uh, I tried to open it up. I did not mean to do that. So the type is here is JBIB. But this is your drawable. Your YDD is your drawable. Uh, the, your YTDs are going to be your textures. So there you go. You have those. Uh, we're going to hold go ahead and open this one as well uh, sometimes they might look a little bit different obviously the foil structure depends on the who made it uh, here we have just the hair uh, male long sleeve uh, we don't have a ydd for this one so i'm going to skip this one actually sorry i'm skipping this one uh, it's a little bit more complicated on how to get this because it's more of an add-on through some other means but uh, i'm not going to be doing this because we're doing it on a 5m server uh, and then uh, we're going to be going ahead and adding this. This one does have a YDD. So I'm just going to go ahead and just move this one over here because I'm not going to be using it. Uh, so there you go. This is basically the file structures that we're going to be looking at. And it's super simple when creating a project here. We're going to go ahead and create a new project. Uh, project name, we'll be calling it uh, test underscore project uh, just as a tutorial. And then we'll name this one tutorial real uh, go ahead like this and then your output folder i'll make one right real quickly on my desktop um we'll go to tut for tutorial we'll go ahead and click on these three little dots uh, i am going to go ahead and just change this to tut to get into my folder for my tutorial and we'll go ahead and select folder we're going to go ahead and save and close and there you go you are pretty much ready to get started i'm going to go ahead and add mail add from folders go to my desktop and then uh, again, this is my files folder. Open this up, go to 5M. And then because we're adding from a uh, folder, this won't have anything inside of it because we're just looking for a folder. We're going to hit select and it's going to do its thing. So here it's going to tell you that you have uh, only a limit of seven. So it's only going to import seven. So if we look at this again real quick, uh, I have a total of 10 uh, textures. But because I don't have the paid version, it only selects the first seven, which is fine. Uh, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and continue with license. And you'll see here if we, uh, if we make this a little bit bigger, uh, we have those seven textures here. So that's your first uh, item uh, added. Uh, secondly, we're going to do the female stuff. So add again from folders. Uh, desktop and again we'll go to uh, our short wavy because that's just where we at we're going to click on 5m again nothing in the folder because we're just looking for folders so folder boom already added it's super simple and then we're going to do the same thing again for uh, the last one we'll go ahead and do uh, edited uh, this one sorry and then we're just going to go ahead and select folder it's going to import it's going to give us the same arrow because only max seven it's fine we're going to go ahead and hit continue and now we have our seven uh, this is the very basic stuff on how to do this. So again, I'm not going to be going into a, a bunch of details, uh, but this is the very, very basic stuff. You basically have your stuff almost done right now. What we're going to go ahead and do from here is we're going to go ahead and just our, build our project. Super simple. Uh, so the resource that you're going to be using, whatever you may use, click on that stuff. What I'm going to be doing is a 5M resource. So click on 5M resource. I'm going to be doing the latest build of 5M. So I'm going to be doing this one. If you're doing a different one, click the different one. Uh, I'm not going to be going over what these different ones do. Again, just very, very basic stuff for this video. I'm going to click on this one. Uh, I don't I don't want this. And then we'll go ahead and name it uh, Tutorial is going to be the collection name. Uh, you can select create subfolders if you want. You can disable extra YMT creations, whatever you want. I'm not doing any of that. So we're just going to go ahead and build. It's not going to take very long because we only have three items in here. But as you can see afterwards, we have our test project here. And within our tutorial, uh, and within our tutorial folder, we have what we need to make to put into our 5M server. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and open up my 5M server, and I'll show you guys that it flawlessly works. Very quickly, uh, this is my uh, 5M server. So I'm going to go into my custom files. I'll go to my resources, and then we'll go ahead and add our tutorial folder in here. So we'll go ahead and go. We'll open up our where our project is saved, and then we need the tutorial build here. We'll copy this, and we'll just paste it in here. And then it's pasted in there so we can close this this is our resource folder and then within our um <clears throat> our server config file here we're gonna go ahead and ensure it so we're gonna go ahead and do ensure tutorial just like that and save and close that from then on we can go ahead and boot up our server i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick i almost forgot to mention uh, i'm going to be building a 5m pack here so what we need to do is set our sv 
underscore max clients to 10 or lower. I personally like to do, do nine, so do whatever you please. Uh, but I personally like to do nine. You could do 10 if you wish. You could do three. You could do one. It, it is what it is. This is just for me testing. Uh, so uh, without paying for the 5M tier that lets you stream clothing into a real server, um, which I'm going to be doing for this for this video, I'm just going to be setting it to 10. Again, this is for just for 5M. I have never used Alt-V or Rage MP, whatever that other stuff is. I've just used this. All right, now that we have our server loaded, I'm going to be using uh, vMenu. I'm going to be keeping uh, the vMenu link inside the description as well if you'd like. And there's instructions on how to install that. And there's probably a million videos on how to do that. So I'm not going to be going over that. But I'm going to go ahead and just hit M to open that up. I'm going to go to uh, player related options. I go to pet customization. I have already a saved one, so we'll do the saved one and then we'll do uh, edit saved character. And we'll go to our clothes and we'll go down to shirts and overlays. Uh, we're gonna have to go all the way back to, uh, I mean, we're gonna be going to 443, but we'll go all the way back here. So uh, all add-on clothes is going to be added at the end of the list. Um, so I'm just going to go back from zero to get to the end of the list. And this is uh, the clothing that we added. Uh, you can go ahead and hit enter to cycle through the, um, again, drawable, uh, the the textures that we that we actually had. But this is, it, it's working. It's working perfectly fine. Uh, perfect model. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch. Uh, don't care to save, uh, exit without saving, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I have one for a female here, which looks beautiful. And then we're gonna go to, I believe it is, uh, what do we add here? We added a top and we also added a hair, uh, a hairstyle. So we're gonna go ahead and go the same thing here, This the top as well. I uh, would go back again to 4474 and this is our top. We can cycle through all seven options. Obviously I don't have a torso right now. I mean, I could give myself a torso real quick for, just to make it look decent. Um, one day we'll find one that fits, fits well. There you go, that one fits fine. Uh, so there you go. And then we can go just cycle through the colors and we'll look great. Uh, and then for our uh, hair style, I'm gonna go here. And again, it's gonna be added at the end. I don't know how many hair styles there are, so I'm just gonna go to the front and go back one. Uh, so again, to the front and back one. Uh, go I believe this is it I believe this is it uh, let me check the picture again uh, of course it looks slightly different because it's black hair but I believe this is it uh, we're looking kind of good and you can see that it works perfectly fine so there we go uh, it works fine that's how you add on clothes with uh, Dirty Cloth Tool. I know I might have spoken a little bit quickly, so feel free to rewatch the video, ask questions in the comments, and I'm also going to leave his support Discord down in the description as well if you'd like to get more support. Uh, for a more in-depth feature uh, list, I'll be doing that later on. Uh, I'm not sure when the video is going to come out, but I'm going to be doing a more in-depth feature stuff. And uh, again, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the tool, and have a great day. Goodbye.